Welcome back to East Link Magazine. Well, homegrown music can be found everywhere. Musical talent is in every community you visit in Nova Scotia. And in our cover story, we have a profile of a singer-songwriter whose music is all inspired by the town he grew up in. It's the story of Chase Ross and Devil's Half Acre. Let's not get lost in what is and what is not. There's a whole world out there that's waiting for us. Whether, it, if it's not 100%, it's at least 95 or 90%. Uh, whether it was naming uh, my band The Devil's Half Acre, which is a historic nickname of the town of Kentville. Um, I just, I remember when I, f I used to hear that name, The Devil's Half Acre, when I was a kid, and I used to just, I found it very neat. Uh, it's, a, it's just, it says a lot of things, uh, whether it's just, it, it makes you just think spooky things. <laughs> and, uh, and so that very much inspired me. Some of my best memories growing up in the town of Kenfield are, are in the fall, for example. I, I mean, it, uh, seasons for me and uh, the change of the seasons, the change of the leaves, whether it's snowing or whether it's the hot of the summer, um, I find the town of Kenfield really resonates with the weather that's happening. Tell your mama that I lot of musicians uh, when they write songs there's a whole slew of songs written um, sort of about wanting to run away from the town you grew up in and as quick as possible and, and as soon as you get eight, you turn 18 you want to get the heck out of there and uh, but for me uh, I wanted to come back I mean I moved away I wanted to get the heck out of here as well but I wanted to come back with his return to Kenfield Chase decided to write songs with his hometown in mind, leading to the creation of his band, The Devil's Half Acre, which also has become a new start for other band members. I started playing bass sort of just on my own when I was in uh, junior high school, and uh, this has been sort of the first chance I've gotten to actually play as a whole band, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, I played a couple of coffee houses in high school and a couple of open mics uh, through university, but this is the first chance that I've actually been able to say that I'm in a band and that's something I've always wanted to do. And your hometown is kind of something that you take with you wherever you go. It's, it's kind of part of you and, and it's all, it, kind of, it comes out in, in, uh, in the person that you are and, and uh, how you present yourself and, and your roots and where you come from. And it's, uh, it's kind of where you get your values and your kind of outlook on life, so hometown means a lot. There ain't no hope at all. But in the end, you also like to see the town doing well, and, the, and you like to see reasons for a new set of kids growing up just the way I did in this town, and, uh, and that's sort of, that for me is, um, that's what this album is about a lot, is, is just, going away, seeing a bit of the world, but the whole time thinking about where you're from and, and what you, where you belong and um, longing to come back. If you want more information on The Devil's Half Acre, you can go to their website, thedevilshalfacre.com. In Kentville, I'm Bill Barnaby for Eastlink Magazine. Well, we have run out of time for this 